Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. There are many mistakes the learners are making and failing the driving test. In this video, I'd like to share with you five mistakes of learner drivers. These are the most common mistakes learners are making and they're failing the driving test. So in this video, I'd like to share with you, like I said, five mistakes learners are making and they're failing the driving test. Hopefully, after this video, these won't be your mistakes in the driving test. Let's start the lesson. Now, number one, moving off safely. Many learners, they fail the driving test for moving off safely. There will be many times the driving instructor will ask you to stop somewhere safe on the left and then he or she will ask you to move off. Now, before you move off, many learners, like I said, they fail for moving off safely. Why? Is because they don't look at the blind spot. This is one of the main common problem or the main common mistake the learners are making and they fail. So before you move off, what do you do? You get the car ready to move off, okay? So you put the clutch down, go to first gear, and then you look all around, and then you go to your blind spot, blind spot, properly. Many learners, they fail because they don't look at the blind spot, okay? So before you move off, make sure you look at the blind spot before you move off. Many learners, like I said, they fail because they don't move off safely and the reason is because of the blind spot. They don't look at the blind spot. So this is one of the reasons why the learners are failing. Number two, getting the speed wrong. Many learners, they fail for speed because they are either driving too fast or too slow or they are confused what is the speed of the road and they just drive what they feel is right but the road is saying differently, okay? So make sure you read and know what the sign is telling you. Are you driving on a residential area? Are you driving a road with street lights, school around, okay? Maybe it's 30, maybe not. Maybe the sign is saying it's 20. Maybe the sign is saying it's 40, okay? So when you enter a new road, always first thing you do is look for the sign because normally when they change a speed of the road, it will be in the beginning of the road. So as you enter a new road, look for the signs, make sure you know what the speed of the road is. If there's no sign, that means it continues from the speed you've been driving. There will be road with national speed limit. Do you know the national speed limit? Do you know what it means? Do you know the difference between dual carriageway and single carriageway? What is the national speed limit on those roads? So make sure you know, okay? When you drive, make sure you read the road as you're driving so that you know what is the speed of the road is. Many times, many learners, they know what the speed of the road is, but it keeps going up. Okay, if the road is 30 and if it goes up to 31, make sure you go down quickly because if you don't go down, that means you are speeding because you don't know, you're not checking. Sometimes it's not just about knowing, it's all about keeping the speed. Okay, maybe like I said, you know what the speed of the road is, but you are keep going up. So instead of 30, you're driving 31, 32 all the way. Okay, if it goes up, make sure you go down quickly, that will be fine. But if you keep going and you're staying at maybe more than 30 and the road is 30, then you will fail your test for that, for speeding. Also, a road with parked cars on both sides. The road is 30, but can you drive 30? Sometimes, even though the maximum is 30, but the road has a lot of problems. Maybe it's got parked cars, people around, children around, school around. Maybe you can't do 30. So depending on the road, always read and know what the speed of the road is. And also, if there's a problem, drive according to what the road situation is. Next, ignoring mirrors. Many learners, they fail because they keep ignoring the mirrors. So for example, every five to eight seconds, you should be looking at the top mirror, okay? So you're driving and you should be looking at the mirror every five to eight seconds, okay? You look at the top mirror. Or if you're going left, if you're going right, if you are slowing down, if you are braking, if you're giving gas, you should look at the mirror first before you do any of that. So basically, any change of speed, whether you are going up or you're going down, you should be looking at the mirror. And if it's a long road and you are just driving, don't just look ahead. Make sure you look at the mirror every five seconds, okay? Look at the side mirrors so that you know what's around. Remember, mirrors are there to give you the information. Unless you look, you don't really know what's there, what the problems are, okay? So every five to eight seconds, look at the top mirror, or if you're going left, 
top and left mirror and then signal if you're going right top and right mirror and then signal if you're braking look at the mirror then brake if you're giving gas look at the mirror then give gas okay so don't ignore the mirror because if you do you will fail your test for that next signaling many learners they fail the driving test because they forget to put the signal on when they go left when they go right they forget to put the signal on especially on roundabout okay so for example on the roundabout you want to go right so you put the signal right you enter the roundabout into the right lane and you keep signaling right but sometimes the signal goes off what do you do you must put it back on again many learners they forget to do that also coming off the roundabout what do you have to do you have to put the left signal on also as you come off from the roundabout or you've gone left or you've gone right make sure you remember to take the signal off so you wait until the signal to come off if it doesn't come off make sure you take the signal off many learners they leave the signal on and then the examiners remind them to take the signal off so just to remind make sure you put the signal on going left going right especially on roundabout if the signal goes off put it back on again also when you've left maybe gone left or go right or on the roundabout if you've just come off the roundabout make sure you take the signal off if it doesn't come off many learners they fail because they don't take the signal off and next getting the position wrong many learners they fail because they get the position wrong so when you're driving you should always be in the left hand side okay that is your normal driving position many learners they are either too close or they're too far from the pavement so you need to get that right also to go straight is always the left lane but sometimes the left lane doesn't go straight left lane is only going left you need the middle lane to go straight did you recognize that many learners they forget that and they go in the wrong lane and from the wrong lane they're going somewhere where they shouldn't so basically left lane is going only left but they're going straight from that lane and you will fail the test for that also on the roundabout to go right to go left do you know which lane you need to go straight which lane do you need a road where there are parked cars on both sides where do you position you position in the middle don't be too close to the parked car on either side okay so this comes under getting the position right on your drive make sure you get your position right so make sure you read the road well ahead it's all about reading the road okay so if you're going to go straight if you're going to go left if you're going to go right always look on the floor look for the sign what the sign is saying what the road marking is saying and you will know which lane you need you will know where the position should be when you're driving on the dual carriageway you go over a flyover and you end up in the middle lane and there are three lanes you end up in the middle lane which lane should you be driving if you end up in the middle lane you must go back to left lane when it's safe to do so so these are the five mistakes the learners are making in the driving test and they're failing the test for that i hope this makes it clear to you if you have a question related to this video make sure you ask on the comment and i will try to help you on that and i hope this video helps if it did please do give a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and hope to see you again on the next video bye for now